And we're back. Day 23, seven days to die. Um, we are making excellent headway here. We've got, what, two blocks of the ceiling left to do. And here, we've still got to fill out this, which I, I want to do uh, tonight. But the first thing I want to do, we can do all this stuff in here at night. Um, what I want to do right now is, let's see, let's grab. all of this and run back down to the workroom. I want to do the outside. Um, that's it's, it's going to be a bit of work I think on this one. My last one was in a really wide open flat area. I had a couple rocks I had to take out of some trees but it was real super flat. This one I think we're going to have to do uh, some digging to kind of get it all flat in that general area. So I want to start that early. And let's see. I'm going to go ahead and leave. Oh, the concrete mix. I think we'll go ahead and leave. You know what? I'm just going to stick the frames in here just to so I remember to get them. Yeah. Okay. Sand. here. While we've got a stack of stone, we'll just get some more. What's our cement situation? Yeah, we've got a thousand cement. Well, we've got 1,500. So, are these things running? So for 1500 we're going to need fifteen hundred sand. So we'll do seven fifty. right where we need to be. Okay. And now we're hot. Okay. I'm going to put these, my cool clothes, in the ready box. out of here or did I just not put it in yeah I just didn't put it in you know what I didn't need to make that sand I, I've got the sand but I don't know it's good to have some sand around and stone okay let's 
see what's going on over here. Where's my handy dandy calculator? Let's see, 181. 181 times 5 divided by 60. 16 minutes. So. I'll just peck this out. frames yes good because I need those and okay good we gotta eat Good. So we're in good shape. All right, let's go. I'll make sure I got all my tools. Everything's where it needs to be. We got our meds. Okay, cool. I'm so thrilled about getting the hunting knife. It's such a, like, most people don't use it that much, and I... You know, I mean, just as a hunting knife, just for skinning stuff, it's really handy with this type of base setup. Plus, I just like it. You know, I might be convinced to maybe eventually get some of these, like knife guy, do more damage. Maybe just like be a knife guy, and I can get this that. Be interesting to see. I've never gotten this. I've never played with them. I've played with Pummel Pete. The thing is, the once you get the spiked club and you know you you can make you know 600 quality weapons. It's it's like it's kind of OP as it is. Um, but the knife would be something something new, something interesting. I don't know. We'll see. What's our our point situation? Yeah, 14. We need to do health nut next, I think. You know what? I'm not going to mess with that app because I want to kind of kind of review them and just make sure we're not completely forgetting something. I, I kind of wouldn't mind getting a, a chemistry station up at some point. You know, what's going on in here? Okay, so today we want to kind of clear out this whole area. I don't know that I'll take this. You know what? We'll go ahead and just do it and get it. up our 
more fire axe. Get it done. I'm pretty sure I looted those. I wonder if these have these respawned already or did, did I just not loot them? Here, you know what? I'm not really sure where let's see. Let's put some frames up just so we can kinda
So basically, we just want to eliminate anything in the general vicinity that... Zeds can get caught up on. Um, I'm not sure how far out I'll go, but we just basically need to clear all of this. And I need some, I need plant fibers to finish spam crafting, so that kind of works. And when doing repairs and stuff up here, it's good to have it all clear so you can, you know, easily spot crawlers and stuff like that, so. Not have, you know, trees blocking your way. And those little scrubby trees, kind of skylight, like zombies, like at, you know, at dawn and dusk, that kind of thing. Just want to just get it all out of here.
This one's gonna be fun. Or we can jump up this thing. Yeah.
I'm wondering if this is just him or is this a wandering horde? I want them to stay away from my pit. Yeah, looks like it's just these guys. Oops. This rock. We got another one just like it right over here. But oh well, that's why I wanted to start early because we're gonna have stuff like this we had to do. Oh good, it's power tool day in the neighborhood, which is like every day. I wish my neighbors would get together. I would be happy to, to hold the meeting and just get together and just say, okay, these are the days and hours a week where we're, we're all going to run power tools. But it's like, it's just, it gets out of hand. It's like literally 24, like, well, at not at night. You know, at night, that's when the screaming kids, that's when we have screaming kids. people having, you know, social hour on the sidewalk in front of my house. I mean, it's just, ugh. I gotta move somewhere quieter. I love my neighborhood, and I, and I dig my neighbors, too, but it's like, it's like, it's just, everybody's just freaking loud. Getting there, getting there.
All right, let's do the nasty. Get it over with. It's already 11 a.m. Yeah, that's why I wanted to get an early start. I think I think we'll be okay, but it's gonna be it's gonna be an all-day thing though. I think because we got some terraforming we have to do. Minor, minor. I don't know how far out I'm gonna take it. I guess I could probably collapse this thing, but I kind of need the... The thing is, it's kind of dumb to do that, because I kind of need the resources. See, we're getting nice iron from all this. So... Although a lot of that's from the boulders we whacked, but still. So it gives us a nice view up here. We did a pretty good job clearing all of that. I want to kind of keep cutting the trees back. I think this is our last one of these, right? Yeah. Yeah, good. Is that one over there? No, that one over there will be fine. Can that be heard on stream, my neighbor's lawnmower? Because it's kind of loud in here. I don't know if... 
I'm gonna have to watch the replay, I guess, and test it. I don't know. It's just it, it's non-stop in this neighborhood with with power tools. It's like everybody kind of got together and coordinated. You know, how can we have a power tool running 24/7? You know, let's space it out just right so there's always a lawnmower running. So there's always a, a, a trimmer or a blower running. Drives me bananas. Absolutely bananas. Getting there, getting there.
while I'm thinking about it. Go ahead and make some more frames. I've got another stack over at the house I forgot to bring, but they're, well. they're cheap. I think that's all the major, major obstructions. At least I don't know. I want to. I want to cut these trees further back eventually, and those, those are all the little scrubby trees are going to go. But for right now, that will do it. I think. Um, okay. Now we're going to punch some grass just to kind of clear this, the immediate area at least. That's a pain. That I think that's gonna have to be. That will have to be removed, and then I'll have to replace it with a dirt block. I think. I don't know what. Uh, I. You know. I just noticed that coming back in the last couple weeks to the game. I didn't. I don't remember that really ever happening. Like maybe once or twice back when I was playing after the big patch last fall. But there's been a patch since then. It seems to happen all the time now. Like if you if you actually if you punch the ground, it'll dent up like that. 
I've had a, I have a, there's a spot like that over in my farm too. I don't know what the deal is with that. Or when it really started. I never really noticed it. Like, you know, I had it, I, I, I know I had it happen like, like once in an older game back in the fall, but I've had it happen a lot the last couple weeks since I've come, I've come back. Which, you know, I guess just be careful not to punch the ground. But, like, I'm, like, the only person I've ever seen that can punch grass and miss. I'm, like, always beaten on the ground. Two o'clock. We may actually have to wait to, to, to do the building part out here tomorrow. If it snows right now when it's going dark, we're screwed. We're gonna have to, we'll have to wait. But I still gotta make some uh, some ramps for this. Uh, rebar ramps, that is. I mean, I don't know. We could rough it out with wood just to get overnight, but I'd rather not do that. corner and we should be in good shape. Yeah, let's 
see, let's see what it looks like over here. All the way around. Yeah, yeah, we should be fine for now. Um Alright, yeah, this is like... It's right on that edge from being like flat at the the town level to like starting to grade up. So we're gonna have some terracing we're gonna have to do here. Well, not terracing per se, but flattening. And I don't want to rush this, so we may have to wait and build actually build this out tomorrow. Just do this while we've got daylight, and then I'll get my frames built or ramps built or forged overnight. See so, you now, damn it, that's what I was trying to avoid. See, it's the weirdest thing. It goes from, like, there's no in-between. It goes from being, like, a, you know, an occupied block. Well, that one did it. And then you dig it out, and it's it leaves a hole in the ground. Like, it, like it takes out two blocks.
this one. All right, what did I do here? Okay, yeah, yeah, we gotta go one more. That's probably enough. See, like this. Can't put a frame on top of it. Well, now that did it. Huh. Kind of. I think that's probably big enough. Let's see. That's the... This obviously is the width of the shaft. One, two, three. Kind of wouldn't mind going five, actually, but that's probably a little overkill. I just, I just don't like for them to think they're, they're going to be able to dig under it. I like for them to get on it. Here, let's keep going. Sun's back out. It's four o'clock. What's this hill looking over here? Is it? Because whatever's last is going to be a is going to be a ramp. So uh, I kind of want to go one more, but I do want to go one more. Probably overdoing it. Now, 
let's go one more. I'm gonna get one more, and that's it. Okay, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, 17 by 17. I think this might be overdoing it a little bit. I think what I need to do... is I mean I don't know what what is that in terms of how many frames Oh I just glanced at my at my phone I don't get notices on the tablet that I watch chat on but uh just wanted to thank Amonteg, if I'm pronouncing that pr uh, correctly, uh, for uh, for the follow. If uh, if you're still in the channel, thank you very much. Uh, but let's see, 17. Simple math not being my strong suit. I got to use a calculator for this. 17 by 17, 289. I mean that includes the center, but we're gonna need the center. So yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of overdoing it. So, cause what I what I really need to do is just get this set up, and then when the the bottom part is done and we're all set, I need to come up here and do like just basic terraforming. You know, just cut back into that hill and just f like make all of this absolutely flat and not worry so much about 
about all of this. We're going to take two off and see what that looks like. Taking two, yeah. Yeah, that's a lot more reasonable. Thirteen by thirteen, just to double check it. That's just more work tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and pull the frames. Eighteen hundred. Yeah, it's six o'clock. We might be able to get this done today. I don't know. We'll see before sundown. Make haste and see if we can get this finished today. Okay. Grab this stuff out of this chest. That can go in, that can go in, that can go in. Actually, let's see. This can go here for now. Actually, all this is coming with us. else need to go? The honey can go. These can go. These can go. Okay. 
cool. Okay, so 13 by 13. So that's the outer edge. We're going to need ramps. So that's 11 minus the corners. That's 11 on each side. So that's 44. So I'm going to make 50 ramps, four corners, and we should be okay. Go ahead and get those going immediately. Is there no corner? Oh, that's right. You got to make the corner out of concrete. Okay, so. Fifty, and we'll go ahead and just stick that in there. I think it should zip these out pretty quick. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's see what all needs to go where. Math real fast. Seven eighty nine times five divided by sixty, sixty five minutes. Okay, so Let's stick this in here for now. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not fully organized yet. I just got this built a couple days ago. So, okay, we got our frames. regular frames and we'll just take a bunch of concrete I don't know how much we're gonna need but that should certainly do it okay 
7 p.m. 7.30 actually. So we're cutting it really close. But I'd love to get this done because I'd rather not get rained on and snowed on while we build out the shaft tonight or finish do the corners of the shaft tonight. Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. All right, there we go. Bar frame. Okay, that should be 11 by 11. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, wait. 1, One 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, yes. Excellent. I'm going to drop these in the corners just to make... Oh, yeah, yeah. We're getting pressed for time. Um, okay, so ramps. Clockwise, because that seems to help with the make the rotation go more smoothly. All right. Oh, oh nice! It just did it. That's great. Is it going to 
gonna do it again. Ah, oh, beautiful. never stops like back and forth that was another thing that happened in that patch last fall like the the temperature just goes up and down up and down Six minutes to do all of this. Can we get it done without making a major screw up? We shall see. I think we're. Oh, I think we might be good. I think. Now, ay, 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 ay. am I already on? Yes, I'm already on the level of. Okay, so these have to go. Oh, this gives me the willies. We got like four minutes. drop some frames in there, but that's okay. I don't care. I'll clean it up at the bottom. Boom. Okay. Rebar.
so this should be three by three. Yes, beautiful. No! I'll take care of that tomorrow. Actually, I screwed that one up. I kind of... You know what? Ay, 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 ay. one in the corner. I don't think we're going to make it. Damn it. If I hadn't screwed this up, we would have made it. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Okay. So... So that's there, that's there, that's there. Wait, that's not right. Is it? I guess it is. had this I'm trying to remember I know I guess there is one that goes off I've done this this before so and I'm just kind of at a loss let's see okay so hatch 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 Hatch. Hatch. Okay, this one is mi that's that's what screwed up. Okay. Or is it? Yeah. See, this one doesn't have a pole. So. Taking my life and my hands being out here, but I guess, you know what? 
What's life without some risk, huh? That pole there. Now, this one. Here. This hatch has to come out. downstairs too so god it just gives me the willies okay so and that's like that now this hatch has to come back out Or did I double up on a couple like this? I think I think it kind of has to. I need like standing right here. Hatch. Beautiful. And we have our entrance. Now which way? South. This actually looks pretty cool out here at night. I just hope I don't die. Okay. Ah, beautiful. One wound up in the basement. That's interesting. Okay, let's go get 
get fed and organized and then we will continue on the the, the pit I guess we'll start working on the shaft I'm gonna see what it, what the snow situation looks like I don't want to be up in there while it's snowing there's other stuff we can do what here the poles can go in here for now Okay, good. And I think we need another. Let's see. How many ramps do we have on us? Six. Uh, I would make another 18. I think that'll be enough. all this concrete. I think I'm going to need probably that'll do it. We're going to need tons of wood. So let's take it all. Just to, well, not all of it. I think that should do it. Thing. Okay. Also, this can go in here. Okay, let's go. Actually, I forgot to reinforce those poles, which is fine, because I think I'm going to redo that tomorrow. Actually, I hate to waste it, but I want to get it right. I, I, I think there's a better way to do that, where that one pole isn't floating. That's what we just did. Okay, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I should be in good shape with this. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my steel in here so I don't accidentally upgrade something. I guess we don't need the iron either, so... 
Actually, I don't want to upgrade anything with that either. Actually, and we don't need the rebar frames either. Top one? No. Okay, so it's about 50. We're going to need about... Uh, we'll start with... We'll start with 150 of these. I had some weird thing. I think it's because there's no SI under this block. Nerd polling. Last time I did this, I had some weird... Uh, thing where, f like, frames wouldn't stack, right, when nerd polling. Like, they would just kind of, like... Uh, I guess, the, I think they were disintegrating. 
if memory serves, it about gave me a heart attack, you know, when you're like 50 blocks up. In fact, that shaft was 80, was 80 deep, and it about gave me a heart attack. So I found if you attach it to the wall, it... Kind of takes care of that. Oh, it just gives me the willies. Make sure I'm in the middle of this. Two, three, four. Hey, uh, open range. Sorry I was, uh, sitting here quietly having... experiencing nausea <laughs> being, uh, being up on this nerve pole. It is, uh, uh, from the drop, it, it'll be a, it, like, with, uh, including what we just did up here, like, that's one block above ground, and including the spikes, which will be one up from the floor of the base area, it, it'll be a total of 50 blocks. Um, I'm on Xbox. You know, my understanding on PC... Two, three, four, five, six... Is that for, you know, regular zombies... 35, 40 blocks will do it. Um, as far as kill, killing them goes. Um, the, I did this on another base that I didn't stream, like, I don't know, a week or two ago. And uh, I went 80 blocks on that one. And it, like, the only thing I could tell that it even killed, and I'm not even sure it killed them, um, was dogs. Everything else made it. They, everything was off its feet. 
and I don't know for a fact that it killed dogs. I just, the, like, I never saw any live dogs in the pit. I was so busy, you know, keeping everything clear and looting and all that that I don't, I don't know that I actually saw a dog drop, but I only saw dog corpses. I never saw one alive in the pit, basically. So I suspect dogs might have been killed from the 80-block 80, 80 drop. Um... So, you know, I just started this, started playing this game last summer, which, you know, I'm not like a newbie, but I'm new-ish compared to a lot of people because the game's been around for a while. And uh, my understanding, and if you know differently, you can correct me if, if I'm wrong, but my understanding is that at some point, um, like early in the development of the game, uh, fall damage was like crazy. Like you could, you could like, you know, like everything was dying from falls. Like you know, at real relatively short distances, twenty, twenty-five blocks, that kind of thing. Um, so it got massively nerfed during one of the patch cycles, during one of the alphas. Uh, I think it was alpha fifteen, is what I think I read. Um. Then it got put back in, just not as, just not as 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 pronounced as as what it was. So like so now it's like you know thirty five forty blocks for you know average you know your normal zombies. Um, and what I'm getting at is you know the console versions are all downstream of the PC version. You know, they kind of cherry pick what, you know, kind of version for mechanics we're going to get and, like, what features we're going to get and all of that. So I s suspect that on console currently we're, we've got that, the, the, the nerf version of fall damage right now. So this is sort of my long-winded explanation slash speculation as to what the deal is with that. But 80 blocks was not, was not killing anything except maybe dogs that I saw. So I only went 50 on this one because I don't really care about the fall damage. The reason I like this 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 base the most is because see we don't have we also don't have uh we don't have turrets, you know, we don't have all of that stuff. You know, essentially on console, either you kill zombies or spikes kill zombies. That's basically what it what it comes down to. You know, we don't. Have, hey, wrong type of frame. I was backed off of this thing. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Um. Which kind of makes the fall damage thing kind of suck, right? Because we don't really have a whole lot of options, you know. And as far as you know, the player killing zombies. I mean, what are you what are you talking about? You got to either melee, uh, use some type of archery, or you've got to use uh, a firearm. Well, I kind of I kind of you know maybe I I'm a little extreme about this, but I kind of treat firearms as sort of a mid late game thing. And not something, you know, to rush into. Because you want to have the book. You want to be able to repair everything. Or maybe that's just me. Because I'm anal. But, um... So it really reduces your options. On, uh... On... On killing zombies. And what reduces it further... So assuming you're going to melee... You know, well... If you're going to go for range, generally you can just go for some type of, like, snipe, sniper tower type thing, you know, with spikes under it, you know, however you want to do that, whether it's a, like, my previous uh, one that I streamed, you know, last fall was, you know, like a pillar base with a, you know, sniper per porch on the top.
it worked great. It was absolute, absolutely just constant and tons of maintenance. Because I kept having to beef it up to deal with harder zombies and bigger hordes. But then that meant more maintenance. And it was just getting to the point where I was spending, you know... You know, you got a day of repairs before Horde Night, a day of repairs afterwards, and then, like, you know, pretty much another day replacing the resources you spent on it. And in the middle in the middle of all this, wandering hordes come and thrash up your spikes and stuff again. So it's just, it, like... I'll go back to uh, above-ground bases... Eventually, because I because I enjoy them and it's something and, and I'm kind of already getting the itch to do it again. But I'm kind of into bunkers right now. I like going underground and like, you know, I can have a horde. So even without the fall damage, I can have a horde. Yeah, that's got to change. I've got to I've got to have to rework that tomorrow. Um, but I I I can have a horde and kill everything, fix everything downstairs. And then close those hatches and we're snug as a bug in here and I don't have to worry about anything, you know. I, I, then I'm good to go for the next horde. You, you see what I'm saying? Like, you know, I can actually have a week exploring and looting and, you know, ma you know mining, doing what I want to do instead of just being, you know, like it, it just becomes like, you know, a constant base maintenance, exercising base maintenance. You know, which is fine if that's what you're into. But I just, you know, I, I wanted to do something different on this one. And on the one I just played on, you know, off stream last week. Um, the other thing about this, about this setup is for my, uh, Check, checking this like for my above ground I've always used pillar uh, pillar bases 50 pillars you know for my cages to melee through the hitboxes on those things are absolutely whacked like I'm convinced it, a full half of the repairs I've ever had to do to my base was due to my the damage that I did trying to swing a, trying to swing a club through 50 pillars because you just beat your pillars all the time now this setup down here you know I'm still gonna probably I'll beat the hell out of that too I tried to do on the last base that, that I didn't stream that was just like this I originally tried to uh, to go with a uh, horizontal pole setup you know because I'd seen a bunch of video about that and I never tried one and it looked like you'd have a good range of motion and whatnot um, I had zombies coming through the pole, so I don't know if something got nerfed with that or if I just didn't do it right. I don't know, but I had the same size pit as I do now, and then I referred back to a guy that on the Reddit that I had had some conversations with about uh, uh, drop pits because I wanted to try one, and I was doing research last fall. And this guy who's like apparently done like a gazillion of these, this is his setup. With these uh, these ramps, the poles will go in here. Um, that's what these corners are for. Because there's going to be a pole in this block right here and all the way down. And if you don't have these corners filled, um, zombies can get caught on that. You know, and you don't want them getting caught part way down. So... So, yeah. Um... It is 3.25 a.m. I like to uh, reset the game every every 24 hours, which for me is 120 minutes, two hours, real time, um, to avoid the MD5 error that we get here on Xbox. That was the other thing. When I streamed uh, my last one last fall, uh, I made it to like day 73 or 4 or something like that, and I got my base got nuked by an MD5 error. So I'm trying to avoid that. Um, so I'm gonna start, but I can't cast out of the box, out of the Xbox without a game running. Like if, to reset the game, it would stop the stream. So you have to do that. Um, so I'm just gonna stop the stream right here, stretch my legs for five minutes, maybe ten, 
and uh, I'm gonna come right back and pick it up where we left off. Get this get this uh, finished out. Actually, I may run up and do the actually fix the top to where it's supposed to be um, first, and then come down and finish this. This is all my least favorite stuff to do in building this this uh, setup, and then I gotta finish out the roof, the ceiling in here. You know, just a couple of you know like like what two blocks I think yeah just got to dig that out and and then we're set then it's just a matter of just uh upgrading to steel and getting getting spikes in which we can do you know during the course of this week we got another four days before horde night um so in any case thanks for joining guys I hope you enjoyed it uh I uh, hope to see you again soon and I will be back uh shortly